Hey guys, Spartan117GW here, and I've got something really cool that I've been really excited about. A gun that we never thought we'd actually get. Um, made famous by multiple video games, special operations, film and television like John Wick and whatnot. This is the SIG Proforce MPX OEM by VFC. Really, honestly, a beautiful, elegant, fantastic looking replica. Um, I mean, the companies that are putting out replicas right now, and especially VFC, I've been very impressed with the builds that have been coming out stock from the factory. Now, that's not to say this gun doesn't have some imperfections or things that could be improved or maybe even some questionable things that it comes with out of the box, but without further ado, let's get into it. So, externally wise, back to front, let's go ahead and just talk about the stock for a second. <laughs> so, here's the funny thing. This is not the stock that comes with a gun. This is actually the stock that comes with the MCX. So it actually comes with the folding stock that the MCX should have, and this gun, uh, the MC MCX comes with the stock that the MPX should have. So I'm not really sure what that is all about. So this is not the stock that comes with the gun. I ended up having to switch them. Um, I don't know why, but both stocks are built very well. So you honestly not wrong if you have one or the other, it's just, Honestly, this is the stock that's really designed, purpose-built, really meant for this gun. Um, now, the vertical grip, the pistol grip right here, really, really comfortable. has a nice beaver tail to it. Honestly, one of the nicer OEM pistol grips that I've seen on a gun. So they actually did a really good job replicating the real one that comes with the gun. It has a very, much more vertical profile, which is more biomechanically efficient, and keeps your finger more in line with the trigger. So that safety selector is actually, you know, feels just fine. Um, wouldn't expect anything less. It's an AMB one too. Easy to manipulate. Maybe you could use like a little more resistance, but um, doesn't really come out of place too easy and it doesn't like come out of sync either. Uh, the controls over here, like the magazine release, um, everything works really fine. It has AMB mag release on both sides. Um, one note about the magazines is like there's not a lot of extra magazines. So if you want to go to like a Milsom game, like you, you basically have to buy another gun to get a magazine. So this is kind of as of the time of this video, there's like a mag shortage because there's just, there are no spare magazines to buy, which is kind of the downside because it's like, well, you want people to go play with this gun, but they only got the one mag that comes with the gun. So kind of, kind of tricky right now with that, that and the way you insert the magazine, you have to be very deliberate with it. You can't ride the back of the magazine, which is weird because it's a flared mag well, so it shouldn't matter, but you actually kind of have to ride the front and firmly insert the magazine into the gun to seat it. So you can't, you know, you can't do this. We're like just kind of trying to find your way in there. It's not, you gotta firmly seat the gun from the front. Uh, and, and one thing too, the mag does not drop free. So you have to strip the magazine every time. So me personally, I've used the real MCX or MPX. That's what I've actually used both. But I've used the real MPX and that kind of bothered me because I'm so used to just dropping the mag reloading, thumb pressing the bolt, and going home, and you can't do that with this, but I mean, given in airsoft in most situations, you're just gonna top off the gun anyway. So it's not end of the world, but that was one thing that's kinda like, well, you can't really speed reload this gun, properly at least. Um, the hop-up unit is here. It's a little little sliver, um, so you just gotta make sure you stick the tip of your finger in there to adjust it. So if you have really fat fingers, it might be a problem, but most people will be able to get the tip of your finger there adjust the hop up hop up adjustment adjusts fine no problems and didn't have any issues with it uh, but yeah the bolt uh, ambi bolt release also works as well which is really cool moving on to the front a couple other accessories on here comes with an m-lock rail system on here which is really cool uh, i believe you can actually switch it with some of the real ones correct me if i'm wrong because uh, i was actually looking at maybe upgrading or changing the rail system to something else maybe even getting something longer that goes over the suppressor, maybe to like about here. That may, might be kind of cool. Uh, I've got a shorter vertical grip on here. Haley uh, light mount over here with a Enforce. Got a PTS Unity EOTech fast riser with a flip up dot, red dot right there. So that's kind of like what I'm working with. This is a really cool CQB build. Performance wise, um, just with the time that I've had with it, shooting at some targets in the backyard and taking it to the office and testing out some of the range, Pretty happy with it. It's nothing like revolutionary in terms of performance and like, you know, trigger response and whatnot. But uh, I mean, honestly, I was happy with it. Um, you put an 11-1 LiPo up here in the front, kind of limited space, not as limited as the MP7, but still like, you know, 
better space could be more to be desired, but honestly, you can't really blame the designers because where the hell are you gonna put the battery in this gun? Like where? Unless you like put it up here, so or figure out a way to put it up here, but then, then you gotta break down the whole gun somehow. So that's a whole another discussion for another time. But uh, then shooting it at a range, it did pretty reasonable. I think we ranged our area behind my, my shop is about like 56 meters or so. I can't remember what the footage distance that is, if that's like 160 or 170 feet or something like that. But getting relatively decently consistent hits on a man-sized target at that distance, which this gun is honestly like a CQB gun. You'll, this gun will work just fine in any kind of arena or CQB place or whatnot. Uh, I mean, this is a beautiful gun for stuff like that. This was like made for that. But, you know, if you have to shoot at somewhat decent, like medium to medium-ish, longish range, um, you'll be fine. You're not going to be getting like 300 feet shots or 200 foot shots with this, but uh, I mean, maybe if you lob it really far. But um, no, I think for what this gun was intended to do, it'll do those things very well. FPS wise, it was about 356, so a little bit, a little shy over the CQB limit. But I think honestly, you'll probably be good at most fields. So if you are a fan of this gun, which if you're not, you're kind of crazy. Um, you will like this gun. I mean, this gun was kind of designed to replace the MP5, but have AR controls, which is one of the reasons why I really like it. If you're a fan of this gun, you're gonna love this gun. Uh, it's a great gun. Just make sure you get it while you can, if it's even still in stock. I got this one from Evic, so make sure you check it out on the website. Uh, if you guys wanna see more stuff about this gun, feel free to check out my social media. I'll be doing some more training, some more events, some more gameplay with this, especially when more mags become available, as at least at the time of this video, mags are not really available. Uh, but so far, really loving this gun. This thing is just beautiful, it's sexy, it's gorgeous. What can I say? The SIG MPX. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW, and I'll see you guys next time.